Hello, it's Seeger's best friend here. Uh, I'm in Brighton on top of a hill and we've got another damp cavity wall insulation um, to show you. Uh, Seeger have been round and they have just washed their hands with it, blamed it on uh, maintenance problems, cracks in walls and stuff, but in reality, it's a bad insulation. They did note voids, but uh, so yeah, just wash their hands with it, which is um, not good for the customer. Obviously they've got to pay out to have it removed. Um, yeah, this is where we are, top of, top of the hill in Brighton. So I'm gonna show you now uh, what I've uncovered. There's large pockets of insulation missing, which is down to a bad installation. And we've got wet insulation. So I'm gonna show you now. So here it is, we've uncovered that. Not sure, I haven't moved anything out, but the fact that I can make it into a nice ball like that. It's stuck to my hands, that's how wet it is. Let's see if I can pull out a nice, nice lump here. So these guys have got um, mold on the inside on this corner here, which I'll show you a bit later. Uh, they've got dehumidifiers running 24 seven, which is, is not good. It's not energy efficient. It's, uh, they've got uh, condensation issues, obviously with this insulation being wet, it doesn't help. Um, so I've given them advice about ventilation and heating, uh, but the main thing is getting this insulation out on top of a hill I wouldn't recommend putting any in. They can always go with some internal insulation if, uh, if they want to, but yeah, for the moment, we're just gonna get this insulation out and let their walls dry out. So I'll show you what's going on inside. So another common thing when they install insulation is they have to put a cavity brush down the middle of a wall where that property meets another property to stop any insulation going over into the other property without permission. Now, here is where they've supposedly got the brush out. So they, they'll drill a hole at the top, insert a brush on a chain and fish it out at the bottom, a bit like they do with electrics and cables when they're fishing cables down cavities. Um, so here, uh, I can see the brush, but it doesn't go up. It's, that's there, and this piece here goes into the hole here. Uh, they faked it. So they've just pushed, pushed the brush in, curled it up, and uh, made it look like they've, they've installed the brush. It is quite hard to fish a uh, brush down into the cavity, but it's not impossible, it just takes a bit of time. But as you can see from uh, the other clip, the insulation was installed badly. And it should never have been installed in the first place. Uh, I say about Sega, but they're the ones that are picking up the pieces when in reality it's really the installers and the surveyor who surveyed the property uh, for in order for it to qualify uh, having it done. <clears throat> Pre-checks weren't really made and as you can see, it's on top of a hill in Brighton with a view of the I360 in the distance. So if you've got damp on a south or west facing elevation, it might be worth checking 
that the insulation isn't wet. Thanks for watching, guys.